Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, like always on the From New York City, you are now tuned into NYYNews.com radio with your host, NYY News, Felix, for the latest New York Yankees news and rumors. New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, like always on the stars. Let us do this live. Thank you for joining me. As you guys have seen, Anthony Rizzo is back on a two to three year contract. Obviously, that third year is with an option. What does that mean? In my previous video, I stated, and I've been saying this a long time now, that I believe that, or I believed that Anthony Rizzo was going to whatever team Aaron Judge was going to go to. And I believe that the Yankees are going to pay the man. Aaron Judge will remain a Yankee. So speaking upon signing players, who is paying the players? Hal Steinbrenner. Yes, that was a positive. Bringing back Anthony Rizzo, a fan favorite. As I said last time, uh, the Yankees fans gave the duo of Judge and Rizzo, the nickname of Jizzo. A lot of girls out there were, you know, happy as hell. Jizzo might be back, but Rizzo is back. So, speaking upon Hal Steinbrenner, he really doesn't know how to say the right things. Obviously, not his father. I know that triggers some Yankees fans. Why do you keep? Why do people keep comparing Hal to George? Uh, whoever saying that was about you were probably still in your daddy's nuts. So you don't know why people say that. We say that because Hal Steinbrenner was the boss and he was a good one. So what did uh, Hal say? Brendan Cuddy. Pete, Pete loves that dude, by the way. He calls him Brendan Cunty. How Steinbrenner says he thinks Josh Donaldson's offensive downturn won't last. Let's uh, view this article real quick. Yankee Sal Steinbrenner hypes up highly paid disappointment. And this is what... Let's go back to my tweet. I said... Spends money... Wants to be right about the money he spent. Repeating cycle of fail. This has been the problem with the Yankees in recent years. Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner. The hell is this? This is stupid ads. Anyways. uh, Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner seems sold that Josh Donaldson's poor offensive production was a blip and not the sign the third baseman is washed up at the plate. Obviously, Steinbrenner said he had an off year offensively. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that. I believe that he was. That you guys treated him wrong when that uh, whole Tim Anderson situation happened. Um, Steinbrenner said obviously he had an offensively off year offensively. Steinbrenner spoke to reporters at the owners meeting at MLB headquarters in Manhattan on Tuesday afternoon. Let's uh, see the the compilation. This uh, uh, user created of uh, damn. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this. I probably got to be logged in. But anyways, this guy made a compilation of Josh Donaldson striking out a million times. So there you have it. Uh. How Steinbrenner is going to be how Steinbrenner. So, again, I believe that our boy Judge is coming back. I think the Yankees are going to spend this offseason, if anything, locking up Rizzo that fast and showing him the money. I think the Yankees are going to have an interesting offseason. So, you know what's funny? Let's, uh, because this is live, uh, I don't have a script in front of me. 
I have so many tweets and so many people asking me. There, there's like a cult that follows Adam King around the internet. They hate his guts, but they always want to hear or see him on AOL News. I, I don't co-sign whatever Adam King does, whatever controversy this guy does. But I do believe that if given the chance, he could be the next Beetlejuice. Like how, like a Howard Stern character. So, do I have his phone number? Let's see. Let's uh, surprise Adam King and give him a call. Be patient with me. Let's uh, let's see if he p- picks up. This is exclusive, only here on Hola Como Estas, ringing in with Adam King. Let's see if the the most controversial man on Twitter picks up his phone. It's ringing. I totally messed that up. Let's uh, it went to the uh, voicemail. Let's try again. This is live, folks. There you go. Ring Hello. In. Please state your name after the tone, wow. and Google Sense Voice will try voice to connect message. you. Anna King, you son of a bitch, pick up the phone. I am trying to give you some... What the hell was that? Rang again? What kind of phone number does this guy have? Hello? Wow, he actually picked up the phone, guys. I am on the line with the Adam King. How you doing, Adam? I'm doing okay, Felix. So, Adam, you're the most controversial figure on Twitter. Why is that? I really have no clue. To be honest, I really have no clue. I heard that you're going to sue these Twitter handles or these people trying to supposedly expose you. What do you have to say about that? Um, The attorney I'm working with told me not to really talk about it, but did say we were still in the building the case mode probably going to be a while before we even head to the court do you because i i see you tweet this stuff um about gitmo that, that means guantanamo bay right yes so you think these trolls are going to be sent there to gitmo yeah i doubt it i don't think they're that big of criminals if they end up in jail <laughs> it'll probably be the federal one in dc wow i mean you have a fan base though they're actually putting your name out there yeah, uh, solid followers, 1,500 on Twitter, 2,200-something on YouTube, so yeah. Who's that um, agent for Trevor Bauer again? What's her name again? Rachel Luba, if memory she's, she's a fan of yours. She, she gave you, like, clout one time. Yeah, I remember she's that. A, she's, she's a very attractive woman, too. Eh, not to me, but to most guys. <laughs> I mean, she's she's actually representing Trevor Bauer, so, I mean, you know. Well, he's uh, banned to Japan being now. Being affiliated so with Adam King doesn't hurt either. I didn't hear that last part. So, Adam, as long as we have you on the phone, I don't know if you have a prepaid plan. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your minutes. But um, just um, give us some scoops about the uh, New York Yankees and what moves you think they're going to make. Um, I was told yesterday they're uh, working hard to trade both Torres and IKF, as well as Hicks. Uh, They have plans to replace them. They're still talking to Benintendi to be the left fielder, and Hicks doesn't really fit in if they do re-sign Benintendi, especially now that they have Bader. According to Hal Steinbrenner himself, they plan for the young guys on the infield, Volpe, Peraza, and Cabrera, third, short, second. Um, Cabrera would be third, Volpe second. We'll see. I'm not sure I buy that quite yet. So, yeah, I, we'll I do believe that they have to uh, bring back Ben Attendee, have an outfield of Benny, Bader, and Judge. So well, that's another to left-handed bat. You notice once they only had the one left-handed bat, the lineup they struggled to score, showing you need two plus. You get Cabrera and Ben Attendee, and you have three, and it adds more to the balance factor. Um. Well, that not many people are talking about. The Yankees met with Carlos Rodon the other day, privately. 
my dad's cousin works in front office and I went and met with him. Um, I don't know anything other than that. I just know they met with him. I know the Phillies are talking to Rodone, but he's, his market is not really developing the way he thought. We'll see what happens there. Uh, the Yankees are not going to have to Kodai Singa. They think his market's going to explode and his price be outside their range. Uh, they are eyeing Munitaka Murakami, but who knows when he's getting posted. He's trying to get posted right now. I doubt that happens. Probably a couple years from now. He's only 23. They probably won't post until he's 25. Uh, as for Yoshida, I think the Yankees are out on him. The belief around the industry is he's not getting posted. He was supposed to be posted a week ago, and he's still not posted. So something weird is going on there. So, Adam King, we all know that Brian Cashman is out of a contract. Is it you running the Yankees now on the low? I said again, I didn't. Like... Adam King is actually the, G, the GM of the Yankees? No. Brian Cashman is still the acting GM. Uh, Tim Nehring, I know, is doing a lot of the work right now before Cashman's deal gets done. Let's say let's uh, say they some team offered you a job as a GM. How how much would it cost to have Adam King man, uh, GM a baseball team? Well, it would be less than most because I don't have a lot of experience to try to beat the contract up. Cashman is demanding five point eight million a year. I think it was wow. like a five year, twenty eight million deal or something like that. What He's would gonna get more demand? What, what would be your number? My number would probably come in somewhere around five hundred, eight hundred thousand a year because I don't have experience, and that's the standard for a beginner. Would that cover medical insurance and all that stuff? That would be on top of that. That would just be the base salary, medical insurance, and bonuses, anything like that, would be on top of it. But most people don't know so those GMs do get bonuses for everybody they bring in, anything like that. And there are bonuses built into most of their contracts. So we all know you're supposed to be a millionaire by now because Rob uh, Manfred cost you a million dollars during that lockout. You had sponsorships going and stuff like that. Uh, I know people who run businesses, I'll put it that way, and they were setting it up to where I've got eight sponsorships for the website, four for the YouTube channel, and off total, it would have been somewhere around $1.8 million I would have made over the life of the contracts. We do um, believe, Adam, that you'll – you're famous already, but I, me – Personally, in my opinion, I think you're worth millions, to be honest with you. Thank you. You're not the only one. I go around and officiate basketball and power baseball stuff for the high school and everything like that. A lot of them have heard of me. And if high school, middle school kids have heard of me, my name is out there somewhere. I mean, you have a vicious bloodline. Everybody's your cousin. You have so many relatives in high positions and stuff like that. Would you like to That's explain it. that? Uh, that's in my pioneer ancestry. I have three ancestors who all had at least 15 wives. One is probably P. Pratt, one's Alan Taylor, and then there's the Miller guy. I can't remember his name for some reason. But through all of those, they connected to a lot of people. Mitt Romney is a descendant of Pratt. So is John Huntsman Jr. Uh, Warren Buffett uh, is a descendant of Pratt. <laughs> Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett's your, uh, one of your relatives? He's my fifth cousin. Wow, uh, I think amazing. once removed. So basically, um, a you're lot like of a vampire or something. Your bloodline goes way back. Yes, it's because I um just the Pratt line, fifty-two thousand known descendants for him now. So that's fifty-two thousand cousins. Alan Taylor's around forty-five thousand. The Miller guy is around forty-eight thousand. That's a lot right there. And they were businessmen that intertwined in a lot of stuff. Even Jeff Bezos ties into the Miller line. So, are you an organ donor? Because I'm pretty sure, like, if you ticked off, like, if you have that in your idea, whatever, that you're an organ donor, your organs would go for millions of dollars. I am not. I'm not allowed to be because I am hypoglycemic. They cannot uh, give my organs to anybody. My organs are automatically diseased. Because I'm guessing that bloodline you have is worth millions and trillions of dollars. You'd think. <laughs> <laughs> This is hilarious. Only on all like almost us. We have Adam King live on a surprise phone call. Adam King, before I leave you, anything you any anything else you want to say? Um, not really. I really enjoy my officiating. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and that is one of the main reasons I had to back off at the business. I had to put so much time in officiating. I'm actually, driving out in an hour to head out to do a couple of games today for a matinee special. Uh, I love the officiating of that everything and. I'm building the business back up, and we'll see where I get to, but it's it's a lot of fun. So, Adam, uh, you do you have something to say about the trolls and stuff like that, the people that are stalking you online? It reminds me of the famous quote, 
I do not remember who said it, but it is attributed to Albert Einstein, though I don't think he said it. He said when you attack somebody else or try to hurt somebody else, you're only hurting yourself. And where can people find you online? Um, my YouTube channel, uh, Adam, no, the King Source All Things Sports with Adam King. Yeah, yeah, TheKingSource.com is my website. Yeah, the King Source All Things Sports with Adam King on Facebook and Twitter. So you can go look at those and see all my posts and articles. That. And I've been breaking a lot of information lately. I knew about the Rizzo deal first. The tweet is there. You can go check it out. I knew about a lot of other stuff first. Nice, man. Um, and I heard you're looking for a woman. Uh, any females out there listening right now, Adam King is a single man and he's looking for a woman to marry. Yeah, it'd be nice to find a special girl having my life and especially when they like help me with the business. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So Adam, great talking to you. You know, um, you're well known online and you know, if you have haters, that's a good thing. That's what they say. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Adam. Yep, have a good one. Peace out. So there you have an Adam King, <laughs> a random phone call. Wow, um, news must be going slow when I pulled that off. So what what I want to talk about, again, I'll repeat this, Yankees going to have a busy offseason. As you can see, they uh, – actually sign the player early. Usually they take longer. So, who knows? Do they lock down Judge next? I don't think so. I think they're going to continue to make moves. I think the Yankees should try to attempt to try to sign Carlos Correa. I don't know about this Josh Donaldson nonsense where Hal Steinbrenner comes out and says, oh yeah, he had an off year offensively signaling that he's going to come back next season. Then you had Brian Cashman talking about Aaron Hicks praising him. I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe they're saying that to keep their value high so they could get rid of them. I don't know. So, this has been Ola Como Estas with MLY News Felix. You Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. We love reading them. Make sure you check out MLY News Ruben's uh, new podcast, Execution, which is highly, highly greatly produced by me just check it out check out NY News TV as well and you know it's going to be a busy off season I'm going to have more um, Hola Como Estas uh, segments like these and who knows you're going to get a surprise every week or every day whenever I decide to make these so Yankees fans leave your opinions in the comment section below this has been Felix from NYNews.com share like and subscribe and I will check you out next time